Hi, everybody. My name is Alexia Patrick, LLC, and I am currently, this is my first YouTube video, and I'm currently trying to get my name out and get to know all of my fans. You can also find me on Facebook as well. I do have a fan page. It's very small. I'm just starting out. Again, Alexia Patrick, LLC, as you can see on the wall over there, I wrote it out for you so you can spell it correctly. Um, right now, publishers are not cheap. So trying to get my writing out there ASAP for all of you to have a hard copy or to have the literature in your hands is very hard to do. An average um, publisher can start anywhere from $800 up to $20,000, depending on how big you want your book, where you want to advertise, and so forth. So right now, until you pay up front, there is really nothing being written, nothing put out there until the publisher is paid in full and they're satisfied with your work, which can take up to a couple months or can take up to a couple years. So I decided to get on YouTube and to share my writings with you this way because I figured this way it'll be a lot faster than going through a publisher and having you guys wait for years on end to wonder who I am. So here I am. Um, right now, again, I'm just trying to get my name out and trying to see how things are going, get my career going, and um, a little bit about me. I was born June 23rd, which is coming up pretty soon, so I'm pretty stoked about that. I was gone through in a very abusive marriage once and divorced. I am also happily remarried again. I am a mother of two. I write adult, teen, and children novels. I also do a handbook on men for women, but seeing that women are constantly changing, that's sometimes very hard to have published, seeing I sometimes feel that with us women, the book will never be finished. So what I plan on doing is giving tutorials, essays, making comments, and writing and touching base on a lot of things to help relationships, men understand why us women do what we do. So you can answer our questions and take care of us a lot better than what some of you out there do. So it's kind of like a little guide for you guys. Also, um, I write a few church skits. Uh, sometimes these church skits are hard to do because you have to be thorough with your readings of the Bible. I do know a lot of stories about the Bible. I am a Christian. I do go to church. I do have a religion. But um, I do not know my Bible as well as I should. So I don't do a lot of those. Like I said, I only have a couple, like five or six. I kind of have to be in a mood to write the biblical things to be accurate. Um, also, I have over 500 poems that I have written myself. I've been writing since the fourth grade. My teacher, Mrs. Gallagher, was the very first person to introduce me to limerick style poems. And I have taken off since then. Um, I write um, from raw emotion, which I mean raw is sometimes it's lustful, sometimes it's sad, depressing. I've been through a lot in my life, so having to sit back and, um, and share these with you, sometimes you will find it very emotional with them because the emotion and the rawness and the realness that I put into my poems are only people who are going through it will understand it. So I hope that maybe sometimes my poems will help you express your emotions. And if you want to copy down write one of my poems and tell one of your, uh, um, your, your little girly friends or your boyfriends that that's how you feel about them, I'm okay with it. But again, I am licensed limited contract. So any poems that I read to you or any stories that I read to you is copyright. So I want to make that point clear. I am also aware, too, about internet bullies, which is a big thing nowadays. People calling each other names, calling each other out, um, telling people on different fan pages, oh, I hope you die, go kill yourself. So hopefully none of you guys, uh, none of my fans will be like that, or I will have to deny you as a fan. I will delete your comments. I will delete you off my pages. So please be a little bit more mature on my pages saying I too was a child of bullying. Um, there are giant critics out there who feel it is their spot in the world to go out and put other people down to make themselves feel superior. So to get it out of the point blue, I am aware that I am a white person. I am aware that I am a brunette, naturally colored, not dyed. 
I am also aware that I am American. I'm overweight. I got big almond eyes. I got big white teeth. And if I go like this, when I smile, I got a big gum line. So please don't be ignorant on here and call me Mr. Ed or call me a skeleton now or call me chomps or anything like that because growing up, I've heard it all. And all you're going to do is just make me laugh at you and I'm just going to delete your comments. So you could post as much as you want, but I'm not going to follow them. Um, this is how God made me. I mean, if you can't accept me for who I am, then obviously you're not one of my friends. This is how my husband married me. He loves me. He thinks I'm pretty. And if you don't like it, I don't know what to tell you because I never asked for your opinion. Um, I just feel that if God can love me this way and my husband can love me this way and my children can love me this way and my friends can love me this way, then this person like this can love my fans back. So again, I am Alexia Patrick. I'm just simply keeping it real and I look forward to chatting with you soon. Thank you.